With the Samsung Galaxy A range just being refreshed, we thought we'd take a look at five of my personal favorite cases for their most popular device, the A54. Let's start things off with the Otterbox React Perplexing. Otterbox are usually known for their really protective cases. And I would say this is fairly protective. It's definitely not one of the hard wearing cases. The edges feel quite nice and soft, which means the volume rocker and power button actually feel fairly nice to press. What I do like about this case is Otterbox have gone for a very unusual shape for the camera cutout. I think this just makes it look a little bit different than just the standard square or rectangle cutout. Talking about the camera protection, it has a nice raised lip as well. That means when you place it down, you'll have no issues with the lenses getting scratched on a flat surface. Other than that, if you're buying this case for extreme protection, I would probably look elsewhere. Next up, we've got Elixar's ExoShield case in blue. Now, similar to the Otterbox case we just looked at, it's got a clear, hard plastic back with a colored bumper around the edge. It still seems to attract fingerprints. However, I would say maybe a little bit less. However, we do have the white dummy in this phone, so that could be the reason. Now, taking a look at the color, you can see that it's nice, a bright teal color, and it's got these metallic buttons as well. The buttons feel okay in the hands, however, they do make a little bit of a rattle sound when you sort of tap them. Other than that, I would say the case is very similar in terms of the amount of protection it gives the screen when you place it face down on the surface. And I would say the cameras are a little less protected thanks to this bezel around them being a little bit less than on the Autobox case. Now, if you're not a fan of these colored edges, you may want to check out the next case. Next up, we've got this entry from Arari. This sort of gives this white A54 uh, a nice gray look. Unlike the previous two cases, this one has individual cutouts for each camera and the flash. And although it seems that these sit pretty flush with the back of the case, there is actually a slight raise in each of these corners. Other than that, the buttons feel nice and clicky, even though they're just molded out of the case material. And I would say it gives it a nice different look to the phone itself. So far, this is one of my favorite cases for the A54 that I've seen. However, if you still want more protection than this case, then stay tuned. If you're looking for the most protection for your A54, then look no further than Elixar's privacy case in black. As you can see, this case is designed to give you the utmost protection for your A54. On the back, you can see that there's individual cutouts for each of the camera lenses and flash, and there's also a cover that you can slide over to give them even more protection. The back of this case has an unusual sort of design and texture. It feels all right in the hands. However, it is a little bit slippy. Elixir have thought of a way to get around this as well. As you can flip out the kickstand on the back and twizzle it around, then you can slide your finger through it and use the phone as you would normally with an extra point of contact. This means even if the phone does slip out your hand, it won't actually drop. Now, looking at the front of the phone, there's a nice lip around the screen to give it a little bit of protection. Then turning it around, the buttons are still nice and clicky, although they've just been molded out of the case material. And you've still got a hole to pop your lanyard or wrist strap through. Last but not least is Samsung's official Haze Grip case. As the name suggests, this is no normal case. It's got this silicon strap on the back that you can easily slide your hand through. And just like the last case, it gives you an extra point of contact so you're less likely to drop the phone. Now, if you're not a fan of this silicon strap, it can be removed and it can also be moved over more to the center of the phone as well. This case does feel a lot cheaper than some of the other official Samsung cases that I've tested. I think that's partly to it being made out of two separate parts that sort of fit together and then go around the phone. Now, although this does have a plastic frame that goes around the edge, it does actually feel really nice on the buttons. They're probably the most clicky out of all the cases that we've had here today. Just like some of the other cases that we've seen here today, there is an individual cutout for each camera lens and then the flash as well. This gives them a little bit more protection than if there was just one large cutout for all of it. 
overall, I think this is probably a six out of 10 from Samsung. There you go. Five of my favorite cases for the A54 range. I think out of these five, my personal favorite has to be the Serrari case. I feel like they get every single point right. It looks nice, it feels good on the phone, and it gives a good amount of protection. If you'd like to purchase any of these cases, check out the links in the description below. And if you've enjoyed this video, remember to like and subscribe.